welcome back friends in this video we will see that how you can work on your logo and then how you can place a transparent logo on your videos before we start if you are a new visitor please subscribe to our channel thank you for your support so the first step is that you open your premiere pro and after that open your video and place that video on your timeline so i have a video on my timeline over here and i want to place a logo on my video so that it it appears somewhere over here and also i want to make my logo a transparent logo so i have also imported my logo over here it's an image and i will place that logo over here so this is my logo so the first step is that i will resize my logo so that i can view the complete logo so for that i will click on the logo and then on the left side on the top under effects control i will scale it down so currently it is 100 percent so if i move down to let's say that's fine for now so in my logo the outer space is extra and i want to remove this space first of all and i want to keep only this circle and whatever is within this circle for that what i will do is i will click on the logo again and on the left side if you look at uh, under effect controls if i move down we have the option of opacity and from within the opacity we have these three options uh, this is the ellipse tool and this is the rectangle tool and this is the tool to draw a custom path around your logo or whatever image you are using so in my case I will use this ellipse tool so I will click on this ellipse tool as soon as I will click on the tool it will place on the logo on the selected image from here I can resize from these uh, nodes click and drag till here and then from here if I drag down to go to for example this much and from here let's go to here and from here let's go to this much so from the right side we can adjust little bit from the left side as well so now the logo is in the shape which i i want to have now we need to resize the logo in which size i want on my video so again go in the beginning and go to the scale and reduce it to the a 15 point would be fine all right so now the next step is that we will move it to a location where we want it to be so I want to place it on my left side so this is the position we can adjust the position so we can bring it down a little bit over here and from here we can move to left maybe a little bit more all right this place is fine and from here the next step is to is to reduce the opacity so that it is it looks transparent so far now if I move this on my entire video from starting from this to this point so now we can see that it is showing like that now we can easily reduce the opacity mask opacity from here this currently it is 100 percent under the opacity again we use the ellipse tool and in the bottom in the mask section we can we can reduce from here the opacity so click here and drag down to reduce the opacity maybe this is 10 percent is, is fine if i click and write 10 and enter and this is mask feather uh, we can increase a little bit to smoothen the edges all right this is this looks okay so now let's see how it looks so if i play my video see this looks okay all right in some parts where there is a white area it will be more transparent if you want you can resize it a little bit again it is currently on a 10 point but uh, 15 point but we can move to 10 and then we can reposition it all right now it looks better so 
so this is how you can work on your logo or any image in the Premiere Pro to basically remove the extra parts and then you can reduce the opacity to make it more transparent I hope you like this video if you are new to our channel please subscribe to our channel and if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and give your suggestions in the comment box below thank you for your support